Hello and welcome to the Twee Couch Guitar YouTube channel. Today what we're going to get into is Mojo Tone Vintage Taper Pots. Now it is really important in most guitars to be able to have a pot that ends up rolling down nice and smooth and easy in both the volume and the tone. Now the Kretzmann Tactical 59 has one pickup in it. And with that one pickup in there, we need to make sure that both of those pots are the best they can be. Now, I like the pots that are in there. I like the tone of the guitar, but I don't necessarily love it. I love the way it plays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and see if upgrading the pots, upgrading the pots, is actually going to make any difference in making the functionality of the single pickup guitar better. All right, let's go ahead and go into this guitar with its original pots in it. We're just gonna play around a little bit and I'm gonna move around the volume knobs and the tone knobs some just to kind of get a feel for how much movement I get. How much can I clean up this mostly dirty amplifier? So here we go. Move it down to about eight. Move it down to about five. All right, not too bad. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the tone, put the volume back up at 10. Here it is. Okay, tone down to about eight. Not much movement. Go down to about five. Start to get some and move it down to three. All right, and all the way off. All right, so that gives us a little bit of an idea, but now we're gonna just play around. Play using the controls, because the thing is, is that I could go, okay, here it is at eight, there that one is at eight. Here's this one at five, there's that one at five. But for the most part, when I'm playing on stage, I am not playing the guitar going, okay, am I exactly at five? How does it sound? How does it feel? Mostly what I'm doing is playing to where is my ear liking it. And that's what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm just gonna play around with it and see how it sounds to my ear and the way I like it. Yeah, that's at about seven. tone at about six so still at volume at seven tone at six get tone at about three and I got volume at ten So all in all, yes, these knobs, these pots seem to be doing a pretty good job of being able to kind of taper back and forth. So let's just go ahead and find out if there's any change, any difference that we notice between the Mojo Tone Vintage Taper Pots and these original ones that are inside this overseas made Kretzmann. All right, I got the whole thing put back together. So let's go ahead and find out how it sounds now with it all back in place. I'm going to go ahead and put it at 8. All right, let's go ahead and put it at about 5. And then lastly at about 3. So all the way back up to 10 on the volume and all the way back at 10 on the tone. Go ahead and put it at about eight. Once again, not much change. Go ahead and put it at five. Still not noticing a huge amount of change. Put it at three. Now you start to get quite a bit. Put it at zero. We should go ahead and play this thing instead of the way we were doing before where it was like turned down so much and so little, whatever. Just play it by ear and go, this is about where I'm at. 
and this is the sound I have. All right, here we go. Here it is, all the way up. So that was about eight. Let's go ahead and drop it, uh, bring it back up to 10, drop the uh, tone down to eight. Yep, eight and eight. All right, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more highs back. Drop down a little bit more. I'm gonna add about, oh, say four on the volume. At about six, and I'm at about on the volume, and about five on the tone. All right, let's crank it back up, and let's hear it again. This is really fun. I really like it. I'm curious on how it sounds when I actually look back and, and see the way it sounded before and the way it sounds now and which one I prefer. All right. So with all that said, thank you very much for coming to the YouTube Tweed Couch Therapy Session to be able to get some guitar therapy with me. I enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Make sure you like and subscribe. Become a follower on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and all those things. And don't forget to check out the podcast. Until next time. Uh -oh.